I'm going to leave it. Can I go on the court real quick? Because I'd like to. Because when we started off. We both got a lot to say. All right. You do? Yeah. You do? Okay, say it, Jay. Can I? Just say it, Jay. I'm not in here for that. I'm not in here for that. Just say it, Jay. So as you guys probably know by now, Kyrie Irving has been traded to the Dallas Mavericks for a package that includes Dorian Finney-Smith, Spencer Dinwiddie, and some draft picks. Right before the deadline, Kyrie requested a trade because he wanted a contract extension, but the Brooklyn Nets felt like he didn't play enough in order to earn that money. Jay Williams and Stephen A. Smith got very heated about Kyrie Irving and his reasons for missing games. In fact, it got very personal. This is the most heated I've seen Jay Williams on the show, and it got very ugly. Like at some point, it didn't even become about Kyrie anymore. I'm going to play a portion of that segment so you guys can see exactly what I'm talking about. Roll the clip. Let's just tell the American public what the hell has been going on. Here's the problem with Kyrie Irving. You don't show up to work because there's always something that distracts him from showing up to work consistently. That is the issue with the Brooklyn Nets. Hmm. They want to see you play basketball. And they didn't see Kyrie Irving play enough of it. But don't you feel like the way Kyrie Irving has been labeled is a little bit misjudged? Don't you think it's almost like, you know, I've, I've heard things like he is a headache. It, the decision was an idiotic decision. I, 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 I thought initially his trade demand was said, idiotic. Okay. And then we heard that you got four teams ready to pay the, mother, the brother money. You know, go get the money. You see what I'm saying? I thought it was idiotic because I thought it brought attention to all the question marks about him when he was playing so well. But then you hear about both L.A. teams, Dallas and Phoenix, ready to pay him, ready to take him on. And then you say, okay, not so idiotic. It's actually smart on his part. Okay, I get it. Whenever you get approached by saying, hey, you can have this extension – if you take if you can have this if you take the vaccine he chose not to like that's another there are other players in the NBA who were unvaccinated that didn't get their feet held to the fire the way Kyrie Irving did by the way Stephen A you held his feet to the fire tell me, tell me, because of the tell city me, mandate tell no no let me finish my hold point on, now we on, up here hold talking I hold didn't on. I didn't hold hold on. Can I finish my point go you ahead. held his feet to the fire go Stephen go A no no I was ready to say the... you're acting so, like it's past I'm tense I ain't changed you ain't changed so all I'm saying the change of position is clear accountability is very different so then the last thing I'm gonna bring up another point the last thing about the repost okay what's the first thing I came on this show and I said I said okay I understand there's gonna be clout on the way he handled the situation. But how come there's no energy in that towards Amazon? Like, there was no energy towards that. So we said Kyrie Irving, anti-Semitic, and everybody's tone changed okay. two and a half, three weeks later. Mm -hmm. And guess what? I didn't hear anybody calling Jeff Bezos anti-Semitic. This is where Jay Williams starts to make a great point. Kyrie Irving was suspended five games for a tweet and was told that he needed to apologize. He did everything the team asked and then some and was still suspended for more than five games. It was a complete abuse of power by the Nets and Josai was a moron for this. And don't get me started on those vaccine mandates. Those were completely reversed in New York because of how unjustified they were and how many people wrongfully lost their jobs. Not only that, the Nets could have had Kyrie for all away games, but decided to wait until half the season was over in order to take him. That is completely on the Nets. Two major things that Kyrie was involved in that wasn't even his fault. I'm not saying there aren't troubles with Kyrie. I'm not saying that. Mm -hmm. But the way he's labeled just seems to be so extra with him. Okay. It seems finished? that he's turning into like a finished? media target. Are you, are you finished? Yeah. You, 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 I thank you, you for you, allowing you, me you, to you, talk you, for well, a minute well, and 30 well, seconds. Well, well listen. Well, thank first of all, you want more? I mean, I, I, I mean, I mean, I'll I'll talk talk I mean, I give you more. It ain't a minute and a, it ain't a minute and thirty seconds. You get plenty of time to talk on the I, show. I, I thank you for allowing me to finish my, all right. my okay. point. Thank all right. you. Exactly. Thank you. And after I finish, we're gonna come back and okay. make sure you get more time. Okay. There's a bunch of BS you talk about. It's not a right bunch now. of BS. It is Just because you label it BS does not make it BS, Stephen A. Smith. I said I'm calling it BS. Okay. I'm calling it BS. That's your perspective. That's right. You're damn right, and it matters. Here's the deal. So does mine. Good. Just as much as yours. It's good. So you think. No, I know it. I would beg to differ. I know it does. I would beg to differ. I, now, when you bring up, oh, Jeff Bezos, you were absolutely right. Not a single soul disagreed with you. What we said was, not only did you jumpstart it, but a whole bunch of people brought up that Jeff Bezos still left that film up, okay, that was that, 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 that purportedly anti-Semitic. Excuse me, what kind of traction that gets? So when you talk into the world and you bring up Jeff Bezos, who makes about $70 billion a year, okay, you criticize him. Take the film down. He didn't do it. Now what? 
All you can do is point out what the issue is and then go from there. In Kyrie's case, mm -hmm. you're a player. And you want to do what you want to do when you want to do it. Who doesn't? We can't knock you for that. But the reality is, is that he's looking to cash a check. Bezos is cutting checks. Those well, who have to go make the rules. We hate it. We don't like it. But it's reality. So you mm -hmm. coming on national television whining and moaning about that. I get you <laughs> because you're right. No, no, no. I'm not insulting you. You just insulted I'm, me by no, saying I'm whining I, and I'm moaning I'm whining about and moaning it, Jay. Come on, man. Because you want to be ultra sensitive. I'm whining and moaning about it. I'm Even saying it, to I'm you, not... it's right. You're right what you're saying. But the point is, it doesn't change the reality that that is not what's going to get the headlines. First off, I'm not the one. I don't deny that. I'm being sensitive. I don't deny that. But you're the one that seemed very emotional. Oh, right my now. God. And it's subject matter, Stephen Go ahead, Jay. Go ahead, Jay. Come on, man. Go ahead, Jay. Come on, man. Go ahead, Jay. I'm, not, I'm not sitting up here on national TV absolving Kyrie Irving of every, every decision. I'm not going back and recounting every decision. I'm just saying how it's interesting to me. It just carries such a bigger momentum, in particular with you, J J J more J so than anything, anybody J J else. Jay, well, you know what? Well, I would, what? I would, what I would ask you is do me a favor. Stop telling us what you find interesting and just tell us what you feel. No, my job you, is you, to be you, you interesting. Say, you say, I find it interesting. You always say that. Say what you're saying. <laughs> what are you saying? What did I just say? What are you saying? It seemed, what am I saying? I just said what I'm saying, Stephen A. Which is, and I'm not allowed to say what I find interesting. Of course you are. But like once again, of you course I invite you person. on the show to you say what's interesting. He thinks you're too preoccupied with Kyrie, too hard on Kyrie. Did I Bridget Bridget Kyrie Irving last week before he demanded a trade? We were talking football. How many times have I mentioned Kyrie Irving over the last few I weeks? I don't seem to go, I don't seem to be the one being triggered right now. Well, it's I'm always triggered. No, you're not. Oh yes, I am. No, you're not. Yes, I am. No, you are not. Okay. I've seen you. No, I no, watch no your problem. show every so, day. So what do right, you, are I we work talking with about you? Kyrie or is this personal? It, it, it seems it, personal. I don't want it to be personal. What seems personal? So. It seems personal for you. For me with Kyrie? Yes. You One of million people, percent. You of all people with all the interest you have got the nerve to sit here in national television and tell me I'm getting personal with a player? I don't lose no sleep. I didn't say you lose I sleep. I don't lose any sleep over Kyrie. I didn't Kyrie say you Irving. lose sleep. I'm, I'm passionate about the subjects I'm passionate about. I don't accuse you of getting personal when you take the You have you accused take... me of getting personal. Oh, my God. You have, Stephen right. A. Can, can I go on the court? I'm going to leave it. Can I go on the court real quick? Because I'd like to. Because when we started off. We both got a lot to say. All right. All right. You, you do? Yeah. You do? Okay, Just say guys, it, Jay. Can no. I? Can Just I, say I'm it, Jay. I'm not in here for that. I'm not in here for Just that. Just say it, Jay. I'm on your show. So there you have it. And they both make good points. In the beginning, Kyrie was missing games for unjustified reasons. And that gave him the reputation of an untrustworthy player and teammate, someone who isn't worthy of a max contract. But as time went on, members of the media used that reputation to vilify Kyrie whenever he did things that they didn't like. Only time will tell if Kyrie is better off in Dallas. But now I wanna hear from you guys in the comment section down below. What do you think of Jay Williams and Stephen A. Smith getting personal on ESPN First Take? And don't forget to leave a like if you enjoyed this video and subscribe for more. NBA content just like this, and I will see you in the next upload.